I can remember so clearly when Android apps first were coming to Chromebooks. I was super excited, and then once I was able to test it, I was a lot less excited because it just did not work all that well. However, as years have gone by, Chromebooks have gotten more and more powerful. Android apps have gotten better and better. I should say Chrome OS has gotten better and better at running Android apps. And now we're at a place where Chromebooks like this one here, which I have reviewed on this channel, actually handle this stuff pretty darn well. And there's a handful of Android apps which have become part of my daily routine on these devices. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about my favorite six, my top six or favorite six Android applications that I use almost every single day on my Chromebook. Let's switch over to this lovely view here and we will walk through these uh, as quickly as we can. So the first one is something called Google One. Now this is only really super useful if you are paying for the Google One subscription. I'll come over here to the benefits page and you can see what we're talking about here, some of the benefits to having your Google One subscription. But one of the biggest benefits, in addition to having more cloud storage, access to some cool stuff in Google Photos that we're gonna look at here in just a little bit, you also have a VPN. You can see right here, there's a VPN option. If we click on this, all I have to do is toggle this thing right here. And just like that, my VPN is running. And as you can see there on the screen, it's going to reduce online tracking by hiding your IP address. You're gonna stay protected from hackers on unsecure networks like public Wi-Fi. browse the web in a secure and private way. This is a fairly useful thing to be able to have. And it is part of the Google One app. Definitely something that if you've already paying for Google One, maybe like me to have the extra cloud storage for Google Photos and things like that, you're definitely gonna wanna take a look at the Google One app, but I have mentioned Google Photos several times already, so let's fire that up. And yes, this app does basically come pre-installed on your Chromebook, and it just does a really, really solid job. You have your built-in editing tools that I'll fire up here in just a second. This photo is not on my Chromebook, it's in the cloud, but it's gonna fire itself up and you're gonna be able to edit. You can see some things like this, see that little one logo? That means that's part of the Google One subscription. So you can see I can turn these different filters on. And there are several other options in here that are Google One exclusive things like the HDR effects. So you're not just getting the extra storage and the VPN, you're also getting some of this stuff as well. And this editor is also a thing that works with videos. We'll jump into this Overwatch clip and we'll click on edit. It will download it from the cloud as you can see here and then straight away we can start trimming the beginning and the end of the clip we can actually crop it if we need to change the aspect ratio we can tweak the actual like appearance of the video itself with hdr change the white point all of these things there are also filters and little overlays like this that can be applied which can really change the look of the video you have your typical filters you can also draw on top of the video there's so many things you can do with this editor all part of google photos it's built in and it's great for note taking, Google Keep is a really solid option. Now you can use the website and that's gonna work just fine. You can jump into your note, edit it and do whatever you wanna do. But I would also suggest perhaps installing the Android application because you get this really nice sort of dual screen-esque layout where you can jump into a note, it appears on one side, do your typing over there. We're supposed to be getting new formatting things as well, like bold, larger uh, text and so forth, resizable text, lots of cool formatting things coming. You can change the view of the notes on the left-hand side. You can also full screen one note if you want to have a bigger view of that. I just really think that the Android app is really rock solid on these Chromebooks and that's the way that I use Google Keep to uh, take some of my notes on my Chromebook. One of my favorite apps I've been using for a long time is Chrome Remote Desktop. I have this installed on my mom's computer as well, so if they need any sort of tech support, I can jump straight in and do what I need to do. But for this, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna take control of my computer that I'm actually filming on, so this might get a little bit trippy here in just a second, because what you can see is what is on my computer in front of me, and I can actually zoom this out to show both displays if I want to do that, or to just show a single display. And of course, if I full screen this application, you get an appearance that is pretty much like I'm just running Windows on this Chromebook at this point, but it's of course my computer sitting directly in front of me. I use this application, not just on my phones, but also as you can see on this Chromebook to do anything I need to do remotely with this computer. Chrome Remote Desktop is lightweight, 
way and it works exceptionally well. So I have a lot of weather apps that I really like as well. My radar is the one I use most on my Chromebook. I wish some of the more like hardcore storm chaser sorts of apps work better like Radar Omega, but they don't work that great. A lot of them, Radar Omega doesn't load for me for whatever reason. Radar Scope is decent as well. I'll show you that one too, just as like a bonus. But my radar works really, really well. It has a hurricane tracking mode, which you can see enabled right there. And it will show you the path of these hurricanes and these sort of new areas of concern. Lots of different layers you can go through. You can zoom in. As you can see, it just performs pretty darn well on this Chromebook. Here's the bonus radar scope. And as you can see, you have to like change what radar station you're at and you can go in and look at reflectivity or velocity, all sorts of different things. And it is pretty darn solid on here as well. I wish radar or mega work, but again, radar scope is pretty good too. So there's a bonus. In fact, radar scope actually works better here than it does on my Windows computer. So that's pretty cool. So I recently talked about gaming on a Chromebook in a prior video. And if you want to see a good example of pretty solid gaming on a Chromebook, I think you could do a lot worse than Minecraft. They just released a version of Minecraft specifically for Chromebooks and it works extremely well. I'm just going to talk as we're loading into this realm so you can see in real time how fast this moves. This is a Pentium N6000 processor. Not the fastest thing in the world, but as you can see, we should be able to load into this relatively quickly and I'll show you what the performance is like actually in the game. Walking around nice and smooth. My settings are kind of mid-tier, right? Like it's not like super, super maxed out, but I think I did push the chunks up a little bit higher. Of course, I am playing with a trackpad, which does make things a little bit more difficult. But yeah, Minecraft is absolutely like beautifully playable on Chromebooks now, which is honestly really, really cool. So guys, there you go. Those are my favorite six Android apps to use on my Chromebook right now, but there are so many more options that could have made the list. Maybe you like Netflix or Hulu. Well, those apps work well too. The websites are also pretty good, which is why I didn't include them because you don't really need the Android app for it. But if you want to use them, they are in fact there and they do work very well. I'd love for you guys to drop some in the comments down below. What are some Android apps that you love on your Chromebook. Let's talk about it in the comments down below. I will see you on the next video. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friend.